think the ideal body for women in this society is totally smooth. Real smooth, baby skin, no hair. Porcelain skin, soft skin, pretty much thin, petite, no body hair. For um, the majority of the world, like a completely unrealistic beauty standard to hold oneself to, so that's great for capitalism. What you see in the media is these men with like stubble and smooth chest hair, and then when the woman has chest hair, or body hair, or leg hair, or armpit hair, they're associated with you know, lack of hygiene, lack of self-care. Right now, you're seen as like a hipster trying to follow a trend. People tell me I'm trying hard, but it's, I'm literally doing nothing. When I was younger, I moved to a new town. And my first day, like, all these boys were passing notes to me, like, saying how hot I was. So that was, I feel like, maybe the first, like, inclination of, like, oh, I'm supposed to be, like, this hot girl that, like, the boys want. It was just kind of a position that I had been placed in. Like, I didn't really fight, have to fight for it. I grew up in a very white community. All of my friends were, had, like, blonde hair and just like looked really good all the time like without trying and I was somebody who had to like prepare two hours to wake up early to like make sure I had no hair on my face and I wanted to be like these girls it was like survival tactics my culture and a lot of cultures that are similar Hispanic Caribbean cultures they had their period and it was like bad and you essentially went from this young child that they didn't really have to worry so much about to this young woman it was just like don't have sex, we're not gonna have this conversation. You're menstruating, I'm not gonna talk to you about it. Here's a pad and shave yourself when you go outside because that's what you're supposed to do. I feel like I started shaving end of elementary school, like beginning of middle school. And I remember like sitting in my mom's bathtub and like using her razor and like doing it, not necessarily behind her back, but like not telling her that I was doing it. And I remember shaving you know, like my vagina for the first time and stuff at like a very young age, just because I thought that like I heard like boys at school talking about it or something. I would just get looks like, oh, like what's that on her arm? Like that's really gross. You know, it would be summertime and we'd be wearing a skirt and I would feel so much shame. I remember pressuring and pressuring and pressuring my mom. Please, 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 please. And I remember the first time that she allowed me to shave how happy I was. Like, there was a point where I was literally shaving like here down. I was shaving everything, my legs, my hand, like my arms, my stomach hair. I have like kind of like stubbles here, but I don't really, I didn't touch those because they were so light. My back, oh yeah, that was so hard. Shaving your back is really difficult. And I wouldn't even shave my back in the shower. I would have to shave it in the sink because I had to look and make sure there were no patches because if I had patches, that means people would know I was shaving, but I couldn't let people know I was shaving. I needed to show people that I was born without body hair. So like I got my pubes waxed like pretty early, full on like everything. Brazilian, Brazilian yes, it just sucked. It was so painful. It was crazy because whenever I would come home, I would just like lie in bed and just think about what I was doing and accepting it. That I was like, okay, this has just become a part of my life, even though it, it hurts so much. It just got to the point where I feel like if you do something that's so impractical for long enough, it's just like, why am I doing this? Like I'm wasting precious moments of my day. Like doing all of this when I'm probably just gonna throw on some jeans and like leave the house. When I transitioned into college, I became less self-conscious and I just didn't care. I was like, I cannot keep up with this routine. This is too much for me. I stopped the practice of removing my body hair. So my body hair was just like, it was there, it was existing. And then I was also creating like in conjunction to like, to being that person. The person who is healing, letting go of social construct and society standards. I was struggling with acne and that was a huge problem for me and I was trying to conform to what the, the kind of this fashion industry standard of myself. That was in the period where I was like taking 45 minutes to do my makeup every morning just to put on like a base. The stopping shaving thing wasn't like a radical like, I'm gonna stop shaving now. I threw out my armpit hair and then like maybe shaved once and then was like, actually, why did I just do that? Like I regret it. It was very much like me trying to accept myself fully. Even though I believed in all these things, if I'm packing on makeup every morning or shaving every day to like just feel like I can lift my arm in front of people, like it just goes against what I'm like, what I believe in. People would call me like unhygienic. People would say, you know, I'm disgusting. People, I remember I found this crazy one in Spanish, like just calling me like a dirty fucking pig. Then family gets involved and they get involved because it's like, are, is she okay? Like is her safety okay? When it's just like, I think I'm safe, but I don't even know because it's hate coming from all these different sides. When I stopped shaving my leg hair, there was like a moment that I was like laying in bed and looking at my legs and was like, oh, I kind of want to shave right now just to feel like a bit more sensual. And then I was like, why do I think that having no hair on my legs would make me more sensual? When in reality, like this is my most 
natural, like most sensual form that I could possibly ever be in. Women grow hair, then women decide to shave. Like, that's not something women do, that's something they were told to do at some point. <laughs> Every time I walk downstairs in shorts in my house, my mom's like, it'll tell my grandma, like, look at her hair. My grandma's just like, that's how it used to be. I remember once I was showering with one of my ex-boyfriends and I was like, I feel like shaving today. And he's like, why? Why do you want to shave? And it was like, Oh, because I can do whatever I want, that's why. There is somebody that I'm interested in and I'm like nervous. It's like, what if he doesn't like the hair on my legs? Like, what if he thinks that's gross? But I also wouldn't want to be with somebody who thinks that, so. <laughs> For me personally, I'm not going to be with someone that has a problem with it. They can go fuck themselves. Yeah. yeah. I mean, some days I still struggle. I think uh, people are under the impression that I, f I have it figured out. I don't at all, but I think deep down, like when I'm with myself, I think I feel more whole and beautiful than I've ever felt. My name is Aika Khan. My name is Monica Hernandez. I'm Alexandra Marzella. And I'd like to dispel the myth that you don't have a choice as to how you want to look.